We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. Father, 
send your Spirit upon us. As we observe your commandments of love, may we experience your presence as we come before you in praise through Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and grant us your consolation as we renew our faith in your Son who rose from the dead. Strengthen our hope that all our departed brothers and sisters will share in his resurrection. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Fear the Lord your God, and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you, and thus have long life. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more, in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoin on you today. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, extolled by God, be God my Savior, you who gave me great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. The Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him. Since he lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priest, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath which was taken after the law appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. Be good to your servant, that I live and keep your words. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Almighty and eternal God, who cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. Reading 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offering and sacrifices and when jesus said saw that he answered with understanding he said to him you are not far from the kingdom of god and no one dared to ask him any more questions this is the gospel of the lord Today is a very special day in which at the conclusion of Holy Mass we'll remember the names of our faithful departed. So I will not be taking the pulpit today to give you a sermon, which will be a break for you. <laughs> but, uh, but today, let us concentrate most importantly upon those for whom we will remember in prayer, our departed loved ones. God bless, and let us now continue with Holy Mass. I believe in one God, the Father, the Son, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from God, begotten God me, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. 
with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. I cling to your decrees, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them.
and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his teaching and ministry, Jesus showed us how we are to live, giving our lives in service to you and to all people. Still hearing his word in our world today, we strive to follow his example and set our hearts on the whole world to come. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless <coughs> sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. And all here present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer, or who offer up to you this sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin, Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who live, suffer, and die for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing to yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people at that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner after supper, 
taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, as often as you do these things, do them in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest offered you, a holy sacrifice of immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angels to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants and handmaidens who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for their, your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen by whom you always crave, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching uh, and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in
deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. mingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching, and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy, our saving master. Awaken in us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and the holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant this who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but I
kindness come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. So shall I have an answer for those who reproach me, for I trust in your words. The Lord be with you. Almighty God, you have given us the true bread from heaven, our Lord Jesus Christ. May we be so nourished that abiding in him and he in us, we may be filled with the power of endless love through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, may the death and resurrection of Christ which we proclaim in this Eucharist, bring the faithful departed to the peace of your eternal kingdom. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Is offered. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy, may be effective for ourselves and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence. And the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not, did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Before we have the reading of the names, I want to announce a few items. Um, as you know, after Holy Mass, there will be a breakfast downstairs, and it's not for just me, it's for everyone. I do bring to mind that 2 o'clock this afternoon, there will be an All Soul service held at our cemetery. If your time permits, please come as we bless the resting place of our dearly departed. I do bring to mind, as I shared in the bulletin, a very sad note, the passing of Bishop 
Stanley Belinsky. Um, I think my fondest memory of him is what I said in the bulletin that I that I taught at the, our seminary and Bishop Stanley was one of my students along with Bishop Sobiehoski and Father Senior Sotishak and we get a big kick out whenever we talk about that that they truly were, including Bishop Stanley Belinsky, quite exceptional. And uh, we joked that it was not so much my teaching ability, but because I would bring my Doberman pincer uh, mm -hmm. to class and was more or less the overseer. Um, so I do bring to mind also tonight at 7 o'clock p.m., we have set aside uh, for personal devotion and prayer. There are prayers that are included in today's bulletin. Um, Tuesday, please. One of the greatest freedoms we have is the freedom to vote. And so take the time on Tuesday to go and vote. I bring to mind that weather permitting, uh, next Saturday, November the 10th, there will be uh, a fall cleanup. I'm trying to coordinate this with Bob Hearn. Most of the leaves have come down, so we're going to see what's going to take place later on uh, this week. And I do bring to mind next Sunday, um, after Holy Mass, that there will be the monthly meeting of the Ladies' Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, it is usually on the first Sunday of the month, but due to the breakfast today, we are postponing it. Um, I bring to mind Next Friday and Saturday, Holy Mother of the Rosary uh, Church in Chicopee will be having their fall bazaar. And so I ask my dear brothers and sisters to please make it a point that if possible to support our sister parish. I also bring to mind next Sunday, November 11th, it will be um, at Holy Cross in Ware, Massachusetts, their fall bazaar. And I spoke to Father Senior ba uh, Bonash, and he told me that on Sunday, the Fall Bazaar will be from 12 o'clock until 5. Um, the other things are, are found in the bulletin, Adopt the Family, Our Parish and Works of Mercy for Christmas, and next um, Sunday, when I send out the bulletin, we will have more of a comprehensive uh, uh, totals of what took place at our recent Fall Bazaar, as well as the names for all those who have worked, who worked so hard to make the Fall Bazaar successful. Uh, my brothers and sisters, at the conclusion of the um, reading of the names that I have listed and copies were made available, that if there are any other uh, names that you would like to um, say, so that we might be able to encompass all our faithful departed in our prayers. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. And now, let us remember our faithful departed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. On this holy day, in the octave of all souls, let us pray for the repose of the souls of our first Prime Bishop and organizer of the Polish National Catholic Church, Francis Hoder, for Prime Bishop Leon Grochowski, for Prime Bishop Thaddeus Zielinski, for Prime Bishop Francis Rowinski, let us pray for the repose of the souls of Bishop Francis Wonchak, Bishop Valentine Gabrachowski, Bishop John Gurytinas, Bishop John Yashinsky, Bishop John Mishashek, Bishop Joseph Pandeski, Bishop Joseph Lesniak, Bishop Joseph Sotishak, Bishop jo uh, Joseph Karagash, Bishop Eugene Magyak, Bishop Joseph Nieminski, Bishop Anthony Risch, Bishop Walter Spobakiewicz, Bishop Thomas Ganat, Bishop Joseph Zawistowski, Bishop Thaddeus Petlowski, Bishop Joseph Kauczyk, Bishop Jan Davidziuk, 
Bishop Kazmir Grotny, Bishop Daniel Siganowski, Bishop Anthony Kozłowski, Bishop Stephen Kaminsky, Bishop Stanley Bolinski. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Father Dr. Theophil Czarkowski, Father Seniors Louis Kozrek, Stanley Stripek, and Stanley Schumann. And let us all pray for the repose of the souls of all departed bishops and priests of the Polish National Catholic Church as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray for all the organizers of all the parishes of the Polish National Catholic Church. And now let us pray and remember all our faithful departed. For Nelly and Chester Kosikowski and for the, all the organizers of Holy Name of Jesus, Polish National Catholic Church. Let us remember in prayer and pray for the repose of the souls of Marian Zavada, Jan Kozicki, Maria Kozicki, for William Girardi Sr. and Rose Girardi, for John Wadsworth and Jean Wadsworth, for Sophie and Bernard Kalle, for Bernard Earl Kalle, for Richard Slavin White, for Marianne and Anthony Ostrowski, for Nelly and Ed and Thelma Foster, for all the departed members of the Ostrowski, Bobetsky, <coughs> Foster, and Kale Farm uh, families. Let us pray for the repose of the soul of Carolyn Newton, Eva and John Gustavus, for Mildred and Bronick Ralitsky, for Les and Ann Lanska, for Peg and Ted Lingus, for Sally and Bill Cannon, for John McGinty, for Nellie and Joe Kukowski, for Sue Kloss, for Irene and Ruby Calvo, for Anita and Hank Vishnevsky. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Helen and Henry Kislowski, for Mary and Joan Koschik, for Stella and Felix Kislowski. For Jesse and Carl Dickinson, for Carl Dickinson Jr., for Gail and Jerry Richard. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of all the faithful departed, members of the Majewski and Dostal family. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Robert uh, Lekanowski and all deceased members of the Jakonowski family. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Frederick. Bora, Chester Stahelski, Patricia Zach, Helen Caddy, uh, for Stanley and Louise Boro, for Clyde and Jenny Whitman, for Peter and Mary Soha, for John Peters, for Simon and Sally Stahelski, for Dominic and Jenny Vecha Relly, for Mary Stahelski, for Clyde and Jenny Whitman, for all deceased members of the Boron, Whitman, Stahelski, and Soha families. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Robert Adamski, Stacia Golotska, Anthony Farrah Jr., Elizabeth Knight, Morgan Davis. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of John and Florence Medlitsky, for Michael and Julia Medlitsky, for all the deceased members of the Potts and Zaleski families, for Ann Floyd, for Jerry Yaglinski, for Wanda Dusko. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of George and Victoria Andres and all deceased members of the Chestnut and Andres family. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Audrey Wells and all deceased members of the Wells and Blakesley families. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Robert Durkee, Donnie Herzig, Dana Whitman, Doug, Doug Robinson for Mike and Liz Diabrinci. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Earl and Arjean Shaw and all deceased members of the Shaw family for Rosamund Sloan. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Thomas and Wanda Corber, for Marianne Corber, for Janice Corber, for Chester and Mary Rutkowski, for Stanley and Jenny Zielinski, for Edgen Zielinski, for Stanley and Stacia Papuga, for Stanley Butch Papuga, for all the departed members of the Corber and Rutkowski family. Let us pray for the repose of the souls of Stanley Lukomsky, John Lukomsky, Stephanie Lukomsky, and all the deceased members of the Lukomsky and Shumsky family. Let us pray for the repose of the soul of Alan Flo, Dee Dee and Jackie Bobert, for Shadow and Alice Boisel, for John and Helen Flynn, for Henry and Phyllis O'Connor. Are there any other names? Yes, Camille. I'd like to add prayers to the deceased members of the Snyder, Nassim, and Pablo's families. I'd like to add prayers to the deceased Anyone else? Mariana. The soul of Jason Derka. Anyone else? Yes. Yes. Carolyn Hay, um, Walter Pachowski Sr., the Howe family, the Mishasha family, John and Caroline Mishasha. Yes. Is there any other? Yes, Josh. Are there any others? I did have two envelopes, and they were on the altar, and they were covered by you, Teresa, and also by Linda. And let us now pray for all of the holy innocents, for all infants and children. Let us pray for all the faithful departed veterans of our parish. Let us pray also for all the faithful departed of holy name of Jesus, for those who rest at our parish cemetery, for the Carrillo family, all deceased members. May we go before Almighty God and offer the prayers that we have been taught since we were born. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. The eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. The eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in the mercy and love of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.